We've come to the final chapter of the Solo Ad series. In this final module, you'll be testing out your ads. From the previous modules, we said to test small and scale small. As a beginner, it is unrealistic for you to be too ambitious and spend your resources on a market you're uncertain of. The first try is always the hardest and it won't guarantee you the results you wished for. Therefore, be strategic in your solo ad journey and test run your solo ads frequently through a small sample. For instance, when you found a particular mailing list that suits your market and the sample size is 100,000, what should you do? For the first run, you should only take up to 10% of the solo ad block, which means you select 10,000 lists from the entire block. This gives you the chance to track your progress and observe your performance. You are able to identify if the solo ad is in fact the suitable market for you. If it didn't work out the way you planned, devise a new plan and improve. Most important, you are not taking a risk you can't afford to handle as you are scaling it small. When you figured out the game and set up your game plan, my suggestion is to gradually increase your solo ads by 10%. Do not scale it up drastically. Remember, consistency and sustainability is always key. As mentioned earlier, from the 100,000 subscribers, you have had your test run of 10%. Continue to purchase the next 10% from the same block and test run your ad again. If you found out it is working for you, then go for the next 10%. This is how you should test run and scale your solo ad if you're relatively new in the internet marketing scene. Keep going and increase your momentum by 10%. Once you've got the hang of it, it's smooth sailing from there. Test small, scale small, and then go bigger.